guys and welcome back to my channel Fun Size Style or welcome if you're new here. My name is Michaela and thanks for stopping by. So happy 2018, happy new year. It's going to be a great year for my channel and our Fun Size fam. A lot of things are coming. It's going to be a much better year than 2017 was. I really lacked videos for a multitude of reasons which is no excuse. But truly, some things in life are just truly out of your control. So, 27, I see I said 2017. 2018 is going to be a much better year. Um, I did receive a lot of great press in 2017, but video-wise, it's going to be a much better year in 2018. So, I hope you guys are ready. New equipment is coming. I ordered some new background, so you won't see this background any more. It'll be a nice professional backdrop, which I'm very excited about. That will, I think that will just amp up my videos like that much more. Plus, I'm filming with a Diva uh, ring light right now, Supernova, so that is looking great. Um, loving that, and I will be doing a What I Received for Christmas. Sorry that video is so late. The day that I was going to film that, actually, my I jerked my knee and it like popped or something and it's I think I tore like a ligament or a tendon in there and it's been like pretty painful it's a lot better now but it still has a long way to go I have it like really bad muscle spasms and like now I can feel like something like popping and like going in and out in there I haven't been to the doctor because I don't know what they would do for it I'm really not sure I know it's not my like ACL or anything because I can bend it. It, it feels better when I bend it actually. And also because it's like on the side, not really like it's not on my kneecap. I don't really know. I should probably do something about it soon because it's been like over since it was injured. So that really kept me back. And so I'm back. I'm feeling well enough to film. But I, if you guys want, I can do like more of a life update or Q and A or something like that um, after this video. But I don't want to make this video is too long, but just know that 2018 is going to be a huge year for this channel. I just know that we're going to hit 50,000 fun sized fan members, and it's just, it's going to be a great year, and I look forward to having all of you, yours, 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 support for 2018 once again. So, I promise not to let you guys down this year, and it's going to be a great year. So, why not kick it off with a fun size style original by doing a late Ipsy unbagging. So, I mean, would it really be an unbagging or an unboxing with Ipsy if it wasn't late on Fun Size Style? So, when I received this bag, I, I feel like I've been receiving my Ipsy bags at later and later every month. So that is part of it because I can't film the video until I have my Ipsy bag. And then Christmas happened and then my knee happened and so, anyways, no more excuses. Let's film. So this is the Ipsy bag designed for, I almost said January, this is for December. I, I like it. To me it's nothing like crazy special. It gives me like major like Disney Frozen vibes. Like the whole Elsa feel. I mean like it's a cute movie but I've never been like obsessed with Disney. I don't, gonna have some haters. I don't dislike Disney, it's just, I don't know. I, I'm not like, I'm not a Disney obsessed gal. You know, like I like to go, like I've been to Disney once. It's cool. I mean, twice, actually, but the one time I went with was when I was in DECA and we went for a day. We only went to one park. So, like, it's cool, but I'm not, like, obsessed. But it kind of gives me those Elsa Frozen vibe. Silver bag with a silver glitter, and the glitter comes off super easily, which is why I hate glitter, because um, it's just so messy, and it, gets on everything, but it has this nice little pretty band right here. I don't know what you call this. So if you're unfamiliar with Ipsy, Ipsy is a $10 a month beauty subscription service that consists of hair care, skin care, nail, nail, nail care, nail care, and makeup. And I haven't subscribed to Ipsy for about five years, and I love it and will continue to do so. I've heard through the grapevine that there may be some changes with Ipsy including pricing, but I hope that that doesn't happen. And I heard that maybe some full-size 
products will be part of it now. You do get full-size products sometimes anyways, but like more full-size products, but as a result of that, they may up the price. So I hope that doesn't happen because I, then I will unsubscribe from Ipsy because $10 a month is just good for me. I feel like it's affordable. It's a affordable way to grow your makeup collection. Like, I certainly do not need to grow my makeup collection, but I do love doing these videos, but not enough to where I don't know if I would do it if they raise the price. So let's just hope they don't do that in 2018, but I'll be continuing these videos for as long as it's $10 a month. So just putting that out there, nothing has been confirmed or anything. I have heard some things um, through Ipsy that there could be a price change um, as well as how the bag runs. So we'll see what that happens 2018. Sorry, my shirt is like, it's more of a slouchy comp. Sure, it's from Forever 21, but it doesn't like stay unwrinkled. But anyways, let's go ahead and see what I got last month. So I received this bubble wrap in my bag and I'm assuming the product fell out of it. I was really perplexed when I opened the bag and I was like, there's no product in here, so hopefully it's in there. The first product that I received, I was so over the moon excited. Ofra is one of my favorite makeup brands. I just love their highlighters, love their liquid lipsticks, and I just, it's a great brand. I'm actually wearing the Pure Nude Highlighter again by Essence. That has been my jam lately though, so. But I do love Ofra highlighters. I have like three or four of them. They're great. I love their liquid lipsticks, so I could not believe I received a travel size of a Ofra liquid lipstick. And this is, ooh, it looks like this is an Ipsy exclusive. So this is uh, the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick Ipsy Unzipped. So I don't know if that's like the shade. Oh, wow, they put a little coupon uh, like on the packaging. That is so cool. That's awesome. So there's a coupon on the back that says use the code IPSY30 for 30% off over cosmetics.com. And there's no expiration date, so I'm assuming it's forever. So I'll put that in the description for you gals. That is awesome. I love this. And it's made in the USA, which is awesome. So this is so cool. I love how they put it on the pack. It's instead of wasting a little card or something. That's awesome. And of course, I dropped it on the floor. What else is new? The next product that I received is a brush. This one is by the brand Luxie, and it's not like the normal brushes, like the pink and rose gold, so I hope it's still good. This one kind of looks like the fibers aren't as great of quality, or the bristles, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, this is a precision shader brushes, or brush, and, this, and it's the Luxie 239. I'm not a fan of these precision shader brushes. I just, I don't use them a lot, but everyone has their preference, but I don't think I would get, uh, get much use out of this brush, and I, like I said, I don't think the bristles are as nice as their normal ones, like the signature, like, pink and rose gold brushes. So, that is my opinion, but we'll see if I end up using it. The next product that I received in my Ipsy bag is by the brand Tristique. I think that's how you say it, and it looks like it's opened, but that's just the way that the cap is. When you pop it off, this is what you get, and it, I don't even know what this product is. Oh, it's a mini eyebrow pencil. This one looks way too dark for me, though. It's in the shade Ex Espresso. It's a little too dark for me, but we'll definitely give it a shot. But I like me a good eyebrow product. I like to use many different eyebrow products. I'm not, I don't use, I like to kind of, depending on how my eyebrows look that day, I use different products. So I don't use a bunch of products on my eyebrows. I like to switch the products up that I do. I need to get my eyebrows done like really bad. So honestly, like even filling them in didn't help today. Like they're just atrocious. So I'm sorry you have to look at my eyebrows today, honestly. Like I need to go to the Benefit Brow Bar inside of Ulta very soon because my brows are in need of some TLC. So the next product, our products I should say, I received two of. So this is the Pure Lease Coconut and Rice Nourishing Sheet Mask. I don't know, I just I just don't take the time to do face masks. I think I do a face mask like every six months or like once a year. Really bad to say. But I college kid, I don't take the time 
to do that and if, if I have spare time I would rather be filming or editing or or if I it's too dark and I before the sun goes down if it's too dark I just would rather sit back and watch some YouTube videos instead of like do a face mask which sounds so bad but I just I don't do face masks a lot and especially sheet masks so I don't know maybe I'll give these a try but to be honest, I'll probably just save them for someone or give them away or something because I just don't think I would use those. Like, I do like these though because they, you don't have to win, so that's nice because it's like it's hard for me to reach the sink sometimes and like we have a nice little sink you guys have seen in videos. I just don't like reaching over in the sink a lot and so not having to get washcloth out and stuff like that. So that's nice that it's, um, uh, you don't have to win. So maybe I'll try these but in the same token it doesn't say that it's for sensitive skin um it's so i don't know i've heard people say that pure lease is good for sensitive skin but i only use products that have since that say sensitive skin because i seriously do have like the world's most sensitive skin and another thing is i don't like the like why do we need Xanthan, is that how you say it? It's X-A-N-D-H-A-N gum. Like that's not a good, I don't know. So like I'm not a fan of the ingredients in Pure Lease. I don't know. These are a no-go for me and I talked way too long about that. The last product in my Ipsy bag I'm very excited about and it's by Pixie by Petra. And this is a the Mesmerizing Mineral Duo in the shade Orchid Ornament. Alright, so here's what the shades look like. A nice little highlight shade and then a dark plum shade. I really like the highlight shade. I just don't wear purple eyeshadow, so. But I like this nonetheless. So that was everything that I received in my Ipsy bag for uh, December 2017. I know this is late. It's 2018 now. I know that. But I always do my Ipsy bags late for some reason. But yeah, so this month was like not great for me. The only thing that I really loved was... The Ofra Liquid Lipstick. These have a lot of ingredients in it that I don't like. Like, why do we need, it? again, Xanthan gum, Desodium EDTA, and just all this stuff. Like, there's just a ton of ingredients in here. And it's not for sensitive skin. Or at least it doesn't say that it is. So I don't think I can use that. The uh, brush by Luxie. It's not like their normal ones. The bristles aren't as nice. I don't really use flat shaders a lot, I'll just, well, okay, I take that back. I guess I do for, like, my base shadow, but that's really about it. It just doesn't seem as nice as the normal ones. And then, this mini eyebrow pencil looks much too dark for me, but, I'm going to pull my shirt down, it's so wrinkly. Uh, this looks much too dark for me, but I will give it a try, but it just, I don't know, it wasn't, like, a super, like, wow month for me, but hopefully January will be a better month. I haven't received my Ipsy bag yet. They haven't even released what products are going to be in it. So uh, the bag design is to die for though. It's got to be one of my favorites Ipsy has ever done. So if you guys haven't had the chance to look at the bag design for January, it is adorable. I love it. So hopefully the products will be just as good. So that is everything for my December Ipsy bag for December. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Let me know what you received in your December Ipsy bag for last month. I hope you guys had a happy and safe New Year's Eve. Ringing in the new year. And it's going to be a great year and I hope to upload much more frequently. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!